The Naira is a currency of Nigeria. It is at a rate of 359 to a dollar at this time of this recording. It has a straightforward history. However, as the legal tender of Nigeria, it will not be going anywhere. And we will see how it got here as this is what we will talk about today on GreenClick. By the way, be a friend and subscribe. Share and like to help us make more videos you love about our great nation. Let's dive in. As other cultures and civilizations, ancient Nigerians used butter as a way of currency. If you had cattle, a bag of salt or textiles to trade, it was good enough to get things. But as time went on, cowries became the banknote of the area. Since cowries are tiny, they were carried around in cups and bags. Again, as time went on, shillings became the currency of Nigeria from about 1958 till about 1959. Shillings today are used in East Africa, mainly Uganda and Kenya. When we fast forward to 1967, the pound was used as legal tender. But then the moment came in 1973 as the birth of the Naira happened. In case you don't know by now, Naira is just a shortened version of Nigeria. It started off as 2 Naira to 1 pound. Ah, the good old days. It was put into circulation by the Central Bank of Nigeria and it has never been manufactured by any other banking entity since. The notes introduced were the 1 Naira, the 5 Naira, the 10 and the 20 Naira. The 1 Naira note has Herbert Makoli considered the father of Nigerian nationalism engraved on it. The 5 Naira note has the engraving of Alaji Tafawa Balewa, the first Prime Minister of Nigeria, while the 10 Naira note has Dr. Alvan Ikoku, a politician on it. The green 20 Naira note has General Murtala Mohammed on it, one of the military leaders who was assassinated in his car in 1976. The Kobo, a denomination of the Naira, was also introduced with half Kobo, 1 Kobo, 5 Kobo, 10 Kobo, and 25 Kobo, while only 50 Kobo being the note in circulation. Kobo was supposed to imitate the pronunciation of copper. During Buhari's military rule, he refused to devalue the Naira, which probably gave a negative effect on Nigeria. The Naira was stronger than the US dollar from its inception until 1986 when it fell from 89 Kobo to 2 Naira. In 1989, the production of the 50 Kobo note was halted, and in 1991, the 50 Naira was introduced, a note with the depictions of different ethnic groups on the face of it. The Naira was pretty quiet until 1999 when the 100 Naira note was introduced. It has the face of Obafemi Alwolowo. Eventually, the 200 Naira note arrived in 2000 with the face of Alaji Sir Amadou Bello. In that year also, the Naira fell for the first time from 21 Naira to 85 Naira to a dollar. A year later, the 500 Naira came into existence with the face of Dr. Nambi Azikiwe, the very first president of Nigeria. The 1000 Naira, the largest currency note in Nigeria, came five years later. It has the face of two governors of the Central Bank of Nigeria on it. In 2007, an overhaul came onto the notes as they were all turned to polymer notes. Some notes got some blemishes onto them, while some had changes to their faces. After a hundred years of existence in Nigeria, the 100 Naira note got another makeover to celebrate the century in 2014. Now the Naira sits at over 360 units to a dollar and talks have been held over the introduction of the 5,000 Naira note and possibly the conversion of the 5 to 50 Naira notes to coins. So there is the current history of the Naira. We do not want to get into the details of its use as that would mean a history of the economy of Nigeria which in itself would be a longer video. But for now you can use this as loose reference to show off your knowledge to your friends and family. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with us. If you'd like to be informed when we roll out new videos, subscribe and give us a like. Share this with a friend and drop a comment if you disagree or would like to request a video. Till then brothers and sisters, have a nice day.